Ah, oh, Mushroom Friends, it's me here to put the fun back in fun. Go see Welcome to Mushroom Madness. It wasn't an episode yesterday because I'm very ill. I have flu or some sort of seasonal deafness that's making me stay in bed all day. But you know who is probably even tireder and more exhausted and more worn out than me? Our goddamn survivors. Carefully. He's a hero. And my god, they look as if they have seen some shit over the past few months. But we have an opportunity to do something great. We have an opportunity for salvation. Not just for our people, but maybe for the whole world. Ah, uh, metaphorically, of course, because this world is absolutely doomed. Or at least the bottom half of it is absolutely doomed. I don't think there's any way that Timon and Chef Will and everyone else can, can win. I don't think there's any way they free their planet and their home from this many mushrooms. Because, my god, that's a lot of mushrooms. <laughs> And you know, I don't think it matters where we go on this planet. They're never going to be safe, are they? But we do have potentially some sort of saving grace up here. There is a peninsula with not that many mushroom settlements. Certainly uh, an amount that we can deal with. There's a single band of survivors. And not only that, there's a city with a ship right next to it. We could double dip here. We could take the city. We could destroy all the nearby mushrooms. We could fortify the ship so that if we need to escape... That's a possibility. None of that matters right now. Not not immediately, because we're not exactly prepared for a cross-continental journey and abandoning the vault. Now, a lot of people have said that's a terrible idea. The vault's the only thing keeping us alive. The vault's also drawing a massive amount of attention to us. you got to bear in mind there's a mountain. We'll presume it's a well-lit mountain that keeps having helicopters and drop pods coming in and out of it. It's a massive beacon for us to be attacked. Sure, maybe the individual fellas aren't hyper-intelligent, but the fungus hive mind is intelligent. I mean, it covers half the planet. They know where we live, and clearly they're quite angry with us. You've also got to bear in mind that the vault itself makes up pretty much all of our colony wealth. The vault is worth about 500,000. Our items are worth about, let's call that about 100k. And then the people themselves are worth about 40k. So if, and of course, we're not going to be able to take all the items with us. So if we abandon the vault and take, say, even half of our supplies, our colony wealth goes down to, like, 600,000? to maybe like 80k. We'll be going from drop pod raids and sieges three times a week to probably like four dudes just wandering in. Uh, believe it or not, it turns out losing your limbs, getting repeatedly attacked and scarred and bitten is fantastic for colony wealth. I mean, that was Tim and we can't, we can't blame the mushrooms for that one. Vault, the vault's keeping us alive, sure, but that's only because we've got a vault. <laughs> if we leave, we'll be we'll be fine. You know, they won't know where we've gone, and we can we can play it slow for a little while. We could build a paradise. We could turn an entire building district into a lab. Facilities for curing and capturing people. We're not limited by the space that we've got here. Yeah, out of curiosity, too, let's send everything useful. Let's just let's just pretend we're, we're about to leave, and we're going to send absolutely everything that we might want to take. Uh, a thousand steel, a thousand uranium, 300 plasteel. The healer mechanisms, the cures, which we probably want to stock up on. Spare vehicle parts, just in case we want to make another ground vehicle when we land there. Ammo and bionics and the gas mask, because we'll be moving to a city that's presumably heavily polluted. Even if we take everything, not including the chunks and the blocks... It doesn't even put a dent in what we can actually carry with us. So we can uninstall a bunch of machinery too. Somebody asked if we could put a vehicle in the helicopter. Sadly not, but we can take enough parts to build another vehicle instantly. I think I'm going to commit to this idea. What we lose in defense is what we lose in high tech. We gain in actually being able to build a city, a defense for the survivors. Firstly, we need better weapons. And I know that sounds a bit weird. Oh, you've got charge LMGs, charge snipers, whatever. Someone made a very fair point that with... Melee characters like this, we want weapons that have the lowest cooldown so that we can start firing immediately, and the charge SMGs are much better for that. And actually, that's a very fair point. Before we leave, we should probably get everybody equipped with detoxifier lungs. That way, we haven't got to worry about gas masks. Let's queue six of those up. And because we've got access to the satellite, it's not even polluted over here. Whoa, really? The only part of the planet that isn't freaking polluted. Because of those tech prints, we've almost finished recon armor. I think getting minimum marine armor. You know what? Let's queue up cataphracts anyway. But when we leave, we're not going to have any research facilities for a little while, right? So we want to make sure we've got everything that we'll need to survive. Modern furniture, sterile attire, waste disposal. Rebuilding the big rig the second we land would also be amazing. Oh, there's a lot to do, huh? <laughs> I'm not sure I want to do all of this stuff, but we will we'll certainly give it a go. Okay. Okay, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'm not happy about it, but I will do it. Ancient hydroponic. Whoa, these are all the facilities. Before we... Ah, oh, medicine production's also... Ah! Oh, my research queue. Medicine production would also be quite helpful. Ancient hydroponics. I want to look at those today. We're going to go and track one of those down and see what, see what they actually have going for us. Because that could be essential to uh, food production. If I suddenly take in 20 or 30 survivors, which we'll actually have room for in the city, or we end up curing 20 to 30 mushroom people, going to need a way to feed them because this is not going to work. Careful, Mariana. Careful. She's a stone-cold killer with that gun. 
I'm not concerned at all. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Better idea. What if we give everyone locust armor? How many times did the jetpack save Mariana's life in the old city? Uh, somebody said, why not build the artillery? Because with the artillery, you can strike specific points on the map and potentially destroy it. So we build, say, six or seven artillery launchers. We shoot seven shells at this. We might just blow it up, remove it entirely. No risk to Timon or Chef. They, we, we just take it out from a distance. That way they can stay defending the city and we can deal with the... We can deal with the mushrooms too. Goodbye, Timon and Chef. We've got a farm to go and investigate. Oh my god, what the hell am I looking at? We have to pick a landing point. Oh, there's so much stuff here. Jesus. Oh, that's a good point. What happened to the fog? What happened to the fog? <laughs> I didn't build a hundred turrets just so the fog can disappear on us. Ah, much better. I can feel my existential dread returning already. So here we go. This is the ancient hydroponic farm facilities mod. Fits perfectly alongside Vanilla Ancients Expanded. Is in fact an expansion on that, believe it or not. It adds all sorts of very fancy farm facilities. Wait, is there a danger on this map or was that... Possible unknown threat. Okay, then let's be careful. Oh, ancient sun lamp. Cool. Hello. An ancient self-powered sun lamp. Oh, no power needed. Okay, fantastic. That's actually super useful just by itself then. Great find. Ancient nutrient solution dispensers. What about these? These are all damage, damage, damage. Ancient hydroponics. Nutrient solution stored in network zero units. Right, okay, so it's probably a much more efficient food production system, but you have to fuel it with something. What that something is, I'm not sure. So this is this is damage. Attack this to destroy it, same as any old scrap. Ancient nutrient solution fermenter. Okay, I'm a little bit concerned about what the what the danger is? This is... Okay, we're firing at something somewhere. Hello. It's a bunch of Abyssinian cats. Oh, that means there's probably quite a lot of them. Uh, do me a favor, start moving towards the ship. Tim, I don't know where the fuck you're going, big man. Or do we stand up ground? Oh, God, there are... Oh, God, there are a lot. Stand your ground. Good luck. Oh, God. Oh, this is horrible. Oh, this is horrible. It's like House of the Dead. <laughs> they just don't end. Timon. Well, we need to start shooting the ones that are a bit more of an immediate threat. Do they have aggression spores? Oh, shit. How many are there going to be? Oh, there's go they're coming from the top. They're coming out of the goddamn walls. Timon. Timon can't die to a cat. Timon's far too good. Timon's far too good. He would never die to a cat. Shit, they have bitten him. Oh my God, Timon, you are getting lucky there, my friend. Oh, it's just bruises, it's just bruises. We're okay. Be careful. Chef Will. Chef Will shoot that one. Timon shoot. Oh, God. Did that one just attack that mechanoid? Oh, you moron. Well, I wasn't expecting... Oh, God, Timon, be careful, be careful, be careful. All it takes is one cat bite and you're done for. Actually, Will's in much more danger because he's the one not wearing a helmet. Go right for his precious chef, Will, eyes. A big, horrible mutant kiss on his kissable chef lips. The area is now safe. You may reform the caravan. Well, that was horrible. <laughs> I didn't expect 20 cats crawling out of the darkness to potentially kill us. Right, okay, where were we? Oh, there's an ancient crypto casket. Hello. Maybe more friends for Chef Will? We could try and recruit them with our very good... Hello, are you any good? Um, no. No, you're not. But what was that I said about recruiting new people? Oh, sorry, I wasn't talking about you. I wasn't talking about you, I'm afraid. Hello. You are also terrible. We can't afford to take people incapable of violence unless they've got... Some very, very, very good skills. Cloth crate. Okay, attack this to destroy it. Tim, and go keep the shit out of that for me, my friend. And 400 cloth. Oh, hey. Let's get the hell out of here. Let's load up. Let's see what we can actually take with us then. I presume we can take some of these buildings. Oh, I got to uninstall them. Oh, can we reform a vehicle caravan like this? Ah, oh, we can. Good, good, good. Okay, well, that'll make it a little bit easier then. Boom. The animals find items. Should show the minifiable stuff. There we go. That's what we're after. Okay, so any of the ancients. Let's just type in ancient. Ancient Nutrient Solution Outlet. It's already damaged. Okay, so that one's damaged, damaged. No, I think that one's safe to say that one's damaged. Okay, that one's damaged, ruined. Ancient Hydroponics. Uh, it's Cork has already been damaged. Its efficiency is only that. Oh, it's only half that of ordinary hydroponics. Oh, shit. And those are the ones that I thought weren't damaged. Right, okay, so we definitely don't want to take that one. The Ancient Sun Lamps, though, do seem like a club banger. Let's bounce between a few and see if we can... Kind of piece together exactly what we're going to need to make this stuff work. Because how does the Nutrient Cream Factory tie into it? I don't like saying those words. Oh, okay. This is very different. Holy shit. Look at that. Reminds me of a certain 
cringy chocolate factory owner. It's a nutrient pump to destroy it. It's all run down stuff again. Oh, hello there. I wonder what the hell that was then for a second. Car engine generator. I wonder if this is just a way to get some starting resources. I'm starting to get the impression these are just fun little things you go visit, take apart, get some resources, find shitloads of survival meals like of course we have, but aren't necessarily a way to set up your own hydroponics farm. Seems like it might just be resource locked. Okay, squad, careful, because there might be another danger here. What is that? Should military crate. So these are both run down. And they're just ancient generators, right? The standard ones. What was that? Hello? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. There are mushrooms here. Whoa, shit. There are a lot of mushrooms here. Stay right next to the helicopter, please, because that way we can board it. Things get a little bit hot. Shit. Okay, there are fucking loads of them. Though. What are you doing at this creamy factory? It's almost like it's full of food or something. We might just have to... I think we've just got to bounce. Yeah, you know what? Fuck this. <laughs> get in the ship. Get in the ship. Oh, my God. Where's Will gone? He's in. He is in, but he's not showing up on the bar. Okay, let's get the hell out of there. That one seems a little bit too spicy. It's not what they can steal. Uh, yeah, yeah, you steal and leave. Holy crap. I'm not gonna lie, though. Really do love having this helicopter. Makes it a lot safer, huh? <laughs> don't, don't feel too invincible. Don't feel too unstoppable. This is the beginning of the end. Confidence is a slow and insidious killer. Oh, that one actually says 11 turrets and one waste. Interesting. Unknown threat. 11 turrets, one mortar, two wasters. Oh, we've got to be very careful about the mortars. If they hit the helicopter and we get stranded up there, that would make me probably cry because then we'd have to research and build a new one before we can do anything. That would set us back weeks. Bear in mind, we can't reform the caravan unless the map is free of danger. So it's not as if I could have just done a quick steal and leave, you know? Steal mini turrets. Oh, I might grab those. Speaking of steel. <laughs> Hello! To nutrient storage solution. Enemy terminals. Core components again already damaged. The sun lamps are really nice, but they're damaged. Okay. Can just immediately grab what we want and jump out though. 2,000 steel. This thing is nuts. This thing is absolutely insane. <laughs> Took us a lot of effort to get it though. Let's not let's not discount it. And now that we've got it, we've got to really, really hold on to it. Ruins, wealth, medium, presence, almost none. God damn. You know what? Give it a go. Give it a go. Land and choose a landing spot. Okay, good luck. Just got to keep an eye on that chem fuel because it's going to be kind of a long journey back. Bear in mind where we are right now. So this probably be the last one for this particular journey today, I think. Hello there. Whoa. Okay, this is interesting. Oh, nice dining room. Personally, want to put the enormous fires so close to the uh, double research room. Wow, you don't see that very often. Shitloads of shitloads of steel, plastic components. We've got a psychic soothe pulse, so that's nice. It was a little dangerous. I don't think I'd feel comfortable dining there, but that's okay. Oh, there are survivors fighting mushrooms, which is great because we can just pop in and steal from them while they're busy dealing with one another. <laughs> are we the bad guys? Hello, what have you got for me? 2,000 steel, 600 wood. Just a whole bunch of shit, my god. Can we not reform the caravan, though? Because they're technically hostiles. Oh, bollocks. Oh, shit. Okay, so we're going to have to manually load it. Is that what you're saying? I don't I don't hate it. And the second we see some trouble coming, we just get in and leave, no matter how much we've packed. We are shitbags, aren't we? They're down there fighting for their lives, and we're just stealing all the stuff behind the scenes. Oh, good. Timmins fully healed from that, from that brushing with those cats. No infections here. No, thank you. Wow. I kind of want to look around, but again, I also don't want to risk it. 48 fuel. You know what? Let's just send it back now. Let's not get too greedy about it. We only bought back 500 plasteel, but I think that will cover the many, many lungs and everything else we need to build to get these people back to full health, because that's what I want to do before we go to the city. Sorry, it's just occurred to me, Luciferum, how are we doing on that? Uh, 33, is that it? Yeah, okay, 33 is fine. We'll be good. You know what I'm gonna miss? The pipeline junction. Oh, this thing, this thing has kept us going. Honestly, I think it's, it saved us. We barely had food for a while. Without this, we'd have had no chem fuel. Without chem fuel, we wouldn't have been able to caravan out and get anything. Oh, I'm gonna miss you, pipeline junction. Uh, oh, oh! Medicine production, great, good. Hey, the mushrooms don't have drop pods anymore. I hope you're happy. Mushrooms can't have drop pods. Who decided that? Oh, God. Okay, careful, Timon. Careful. I was very big brain, and I built an auto cannon turret right on this side of the helicopter. Because that way, if they if they come down in their spore sacks, not drop pods anymore. You saw them with your eyes. Because people only believe what they see with their eyes these days. The little spore sacks, they drop down on this side of the helicopter. This one shoots across, kills it that way. This one eventually will shoot across and kill it that way. We're safe. 
And hopefully the helicopter won't take too much damage in the interim. Or should I say interim rim? <laughs> Sorry, should I be should I be worried? Should I be worried? We're under attack. I mean, we're clearly under attack, but I'm like, do I do I care? They're almost through to the power plant, but we can tidy that up in a moment. The ditch is on fire again. <laughs> it's squad, go, go, go. Let's tidy them up, please. Let's tidy them up, please, squad. Well, you can, like, shoot. You, you have my permission to shoot things. That's okay. You don't have to wait. We're going to put Special Agent Tim in on a Special Agent job. We're going to get him to uh, build this up, and then I'm going to put a thick old layer of plastic in front of it, I think. Bulk, good trader. Please give me all your damn components, because my people are going to be here for ages. Bellor is good, and I'm trying to train Bellor up by getting into like, little tasks, like I'll craft some shield belts, or craft some... Well, not shield belts, because there'd be no use. Craft like Molotov belts, and craft some uh, utility packs and shit like that, right? you got 20 Luciferian for sale. My God. I don't think I even need it. This is probably just a waste of money, but prefab box, castle corner. Oh, these are sick. Auto cannon complex. These are the type of things we should be taking to the city with us and then slapping them down very, very quickly so that we can build fast defenses. It's like the perfect use for the prefabs. 20 more luciferium. We've got 49 until that's 245 uh, days of luciferium. Presuming you take one every five days, right? We've given Chef like, like five years of non-stop luciferium dosage at this point. I, I, I think he's honestly good. Wait, is my maths right there? Hold on. Whoa, that can't be right, surely. 49 times 5, 345 days, because you take one every five days, and then Rimworld, Rimworld years is 60 days. So if we got uh, 245 days, roughly 300. Let's call it. Let's call it like four years, something like that. It's actually 4.0833 recurring years. So it was basically bang on. Holy shit! I mean, it's only four years, which again in Rimworld is only only 200 and something, 40 days. So it's not that much. What was that? And why can I vaguely see Timon? Oh lord. Oh god. Oh god. Look at how many specials there are. We got tanks, we got bursters. Holy shit. That, I mean, the spawn rate is the same. It's still like 5% spawn rate for each of them. Hey, uh, Timon. Shit, what is the quickest way to get him out of there? We crack this open, we move him in. Is that too slow? Because he's got to go up and around. I think my man Timon's probably dead. Let's turn off run and gun. Oh, we do have the orbital power beam targeted, but that seems like a bit of a... Okay, you know what? Commit. Go that way. Let's say defensive positions for everybody. Let him cook. Go, Timon. Oh my god, go, Timon. Go, Timon. Timon. Oh, Timon's already down. That's ridiculous. Okay, now we just hope he doesn't die to turret fire or regular fire or get kidnapped. Mariana, you need to stop running and gunning. You need to do more running and less gunning, my friend. Jesus Christ. So not, uh, they would have already tried to kidnap and leave if, if they were going to do that. So I think we might actually be able to save this man's life. Okay, hit me out here. Will. We're getting down to like here. And then we pop him out. Don't run and gun. Just get the fuck down here fast. Everyone else is just going to stand there and give him cover just in case one of these tanks get back up or something to that effect. That was insane. I mean, it was bloody over fast, but that was nuts. Get that open. And then rescue Tim. And, oh, how's his gun doing? Because I really don't want that to burn. Timon's only got three hours. Okay. Can you actually move in there yet? Okay, good shit. Come here. Put out the fire. Come on, come on, come on. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Rescue Timon. What are you doing? Consuming public functions. Oh, that's just a baseline. That's just a random dude. Okay, we're good. What about the gun, though? Uh, okay, Big Brain Kai, come down here. Meet them halfway, because we just don't have time. Oh, look at that medicine burning. Boo! We don't have time. Just, just meet them the second they, uh, the second they're even close. Actually, I bought medicine. I bought medicine. I bought medicine. Okay, wait there. Fuck. Oh my god, how's my man doing? Two hours. He lost a leg. He lost a leg, but he didn't get infected. Oh, he did get aggression spores though, but he wasn't affected. We're fine. The long rot we can deal with because we've got detoxifier lungs. All we've just got to do is try and keep the man alive. And luckily, it's just one injury. Get him. You've got herbal. <sighs> You know what? The herbal medicine's fine. Whatever. I'm not going to fuck around with it because we just need to get it tended. Boom. That's what we like to see. Timon's up. Bitten on the torso. Let's get that patched up and then let's get him immediately sorted. I, I presume his rifle's gone. You know, if you're fast, we might just be able to save it. Oh, come on. Eight, five, two. Okay, it's gone. It's gone. Don't worry about it. 
Don't worry about it. We've got, we got a big concern here. Timon, let's get those spores dealt with, my friend. And let's pop some new lungs in just immediately. No infections, no mutations. Okay, he's good. Timon, you're being carried back. I don't know if he can go berserk while he's being carried, because if he can, that's a nightmare waiting to happen. Because if Kai gets bitten, who, do we have another doctor capable of doing it? We do. We do. Banana's got eight. Okay, so we've got a, we've got a backup that could potentially work here. He's down. I want Will on guard just in case. Because he's capable of walking. He's perfectly capable of walking. He could just get up and go berserk at any second now. No. Don't beat the fire out. Get over here and save this man's life. What's wrong with you? Okay, is he anesthetized? I think we're good. Yes, he is anesthetized. So then we throw in some new lungs. Deal with this lung rot immediately. You just botched that, didn't you? You fanny! What's wrong with you? Okay, well, I suppose he's anesthetized. We haven't got to worry about him getting up. God, shit in Christ. Neutralize aggression spores. Is she, like, missing an arm or something? I mean, for God's sake, she's got 15 medical. I've tiled over this place. We've got state-of-the-art hospital beds. It's because of the asthma. It's because of her manipulation is so bloody low because her consciousness is so fucking low. Ugh! Okay. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted you to do. I suppose it doesn't really matter while he's under the anesthetic. Maybe we do that. Maybe, maybe we do the, uh, the neutralizing first. It's got enough glycerol medicine that we can justify it. It's okay. We shouldn't need the glycerol medicine in a hospital like this. Well, we've got all the linkables and all this really good ancient shit, which is better than the irregular shit. Oh, God. Okay. And boom. Timon's good as new. Okay. Rot sting exposure serious. Actually cannot kill him now. So no problem there. Cannot blame the drop pods for that. Just sometimes they might spawn in here, which is the most dangerous place they could possibly spawn in. Sure, it, it means the turrets will take them out faster, whatever. It means that they're not going to mine through the vault walls. It also means if anybody stood there, they are done for. On the plus side, you got all the plasteel built. That was a close call. <laughs> that was a close call. Right, let's start upgrading everybody then, because this is ridiculous. You, uh, okay. Let's start with Will. Will keeps getting pretty severe rot stink exposure, and we could deal with that pretty much instantly. What if we put the tank in the, in the pod? Does the size of the creature we put in the pod affect the battery? Oh, let's give that a go. Carry this big fella to the cream sweep. Carry cream sweep over to the pod. Was the power output last time? I think it was like 2,800 watts. Let's have a look here. And in you go. And crash the game. <laughs> it's too powerful. You can't contain it. What sort of idiot am I? Obviously, the tank was too powerful to put in the bio battery. Oh, the burster works. No, it's just 2400. Okay, fair enough. I'm sure this went in badly at all. Operation time for Chef William. Let's move him over to uh, Glitter World Medicine. I'm sure he won't mess this up. Very good. Very nice. And then a second one, please. Should be easier this time. Better medicine. There we are. So now our exploring boys are better than they've ever been. Except for the fact he's missing a leg. We're working on it, okay? We can give him two bionic legs. My god, there's barely anything left of him that's human now. Ella, what are you doing if you're not crafting? What's happening? You're throwing up all over Simon. Oh, Simon, my sweet boy. I'm so sorry. <laughs> What's she doing? Borrow build up bionic stomach. Wait, but these guys don't make you throw up everywhere, do they? Oh, no, very repulsive. Oh, they do. Right, any social interactions with them make people sick. So we can never recruit them. Oh my god. Oh my god, so you can't convert him. Maybe you can recruit him? Hold on. Just like, swap, swap, swap tactic here, Bella. Swap tactic. Right, uh, prioritize chatting with Simon. You can't recruit them! Oh my god! Uh, what the fuck do I do though? Because I, I cured his aggression. Can I even release him? D that doesn't count as a social interaction, just releasing them, because anybody can do that. Just get him out of here. Come on. Thank you, thank you. Oh, shit. Well, that has totally kiboshed my plan of recruiting mushroom people from the raids. We simply can't do it. We can cure them, and that's about it. Oh, Simon, I'm sorry. Okay, wh what if, then? What if we cure them, and we send them off to, like, an outpost or, like, a city that we set up instead? Maybe when we move to the other city, we... Invent a way to we invent <clears throat> I add to the model list a way to make cities We form a for, some sort of governance and we send them there because we can't recruit them But like we actually can't add them to our base at all bruh the last raid hasn't even finished dying yet And you do a thing like this Positions everyone please be careful be careful be careful. Okay. Look, this is fine helicopter might take a few dints here and there but Okay, more than a few dints. Come on, come on, come on. You got like three more to take out. Come on. We've got two auto cannons focused on this guy. They're pretty accurate. Oh, shit. Oh, Christ. 73%. Okay. 
right, right dealt with, right over, right finished. Not bad. It's almost like I gave that really big impassioned speech about how at the start the vault is the thing that's inflating our colony wealth, and then I spent nothing but today inflating our colony wealth by traveling to eight different sites and bringing back every last thing. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder why we're getting raided so much. I just can't place my finger on it. I mean, if anybody wants to sample that, by all means, please do. Will. Where's your power armor? <gasps> Did his goddamn cataphract armor break? Will. Will's cataphract armor is gone. I mean, to be fair, he took a lot of damage, right? That guy took a lot of damage, and that was, I mean, it's still legendary cat fry time, right? So I am somewhat surprised, but holy shit. And now our pet toads are going to go around and eat all the bodies? <laughs> it's so bizarre. A fresh LMG for Timon. It was only good quality. It was not amazing. Let's get those legs cracked out, huh? Oh no, little guy. <gasps> little guy, don't do it. Chef, 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 chef. Leave him. Leave it to the frogs. Oh, little fella. Oh, <laughs> little fella, you're playing with fire. Why are they so vicious? They're so vicious. Just leave them to it. Just leave them to it, okay? I trust that they can... Well, that'll be that then. <laughs> what isn't a laughing matter is you fucked it again. Maybe it's a spider mask. Maybe it's the enormous spider mask that explains why you're so shit. We're not bothering with cataphract gear. We're going right into locust armor because honestly, I think that's just more useful than... Than even marine armor. Great changed. Is that another optimist, do you think? Big Brain Kai lost the trait Sanguine. You know what? Good. Good. You think Timon's Sanguine right now when you keep butchering him? Fucking spider-headed Sweeney Todd over here coming in. Timon's... No wonder Timon became a psychopath. It's the only way he can get through your damn operations. Now, he is as good as new. Except for all the burn scars, the bite scars, and the scratch scars. He is as good as new. Will's fine. He needs that ear. Do we trust Kai? We've got a lot of damn choice. We're actually going to run out of gold. We're legitimately going to run out of gold. Look at the plasteel I bought and bought back today in the helicopter. We're down to 364 because some fanny keeps blowing it. Having a laugh. Big Brain Kai quipped about surgery with Chef Will. You, you having a laugh? You think you think all the surgeries you've been botching on Timon is a laughing matter, huh? She's gone. She's gone completely mad. She's gone absolutely insane. My poor toads are all dying of long rot because they keep eating mushroom zombies. <laughs> How on earth does that happen, huh? The only thing that I can possibly justify is the fact that the man will just just doesn't want to love anyone. He just he's just beyond that type of thing. To be fair, he is more machine than man now. Kai, I swear, oh, you're lucky. You're lucky. Otherwise, that would have been like eight components wasted on a single bloody bionic ear. Mariana could take a few upgrades, but it's probably not worth it. Banana is already pretty well upgraded. Like like she's just in a lot of pain, which I can't do much about. The big problem is banana herself. So let's, good God, take the gamble. You need uh, two arms, a leg, two lungs, and we've got an aesthetic nose, funnily enough. We can speed up this whole process. I uh, still under anesthetic, but you know what? Don't worry about it for the time being. You're perfectly capable of flying this priceless, irreplaceable helicopter. <laughs> what a fucking stupid idea. Oh, God. Oh, that brought tears to my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, he's just a little woozy. Sadly, it needs two pilots minimum to operate. We're gonna head up here and we're gonna go trade with them. No series ending woozy helicopter crashes today, Chef Will. Healing enhancer, oh, that's cool. They've only got five advanced components. So it wasn't exactly the uh, the win I was hoping for. Have you got regular ones? Let's buy a few regular components. I don't wanna go too crazy with it. Jump packs, oh! Speaking of flying everywhere, that would be amazing. Just giving everybody locust armor would be so damn good for survivability. How many times have we been, ah, uh, like earlier, how many times have we been trapped between a rock and a hard place, literally in that situation, and we, and, we, and, and jump into safety would have saved their life. I mean, it did save Mariana's life from that thrombo. Sorry, maybe they're not mushroom people. Maybe they're all just totally baked all the time and it's driven them mad. Thank you, Bella. Thank you. I feel like you did most of the heavy lifting there. Oh my god, they're blitzing through so much of this research. And now that I think about it, it's obvious, right? Because we've already not like 20 to 40% off of a lot of these. And they're good. They're like good researchers. And they're in a pretty damn good lab too. Exotic goods trader. Oh shit, hello. Advanced components, but more importantly, glycerol medicine will be amazing. Because we're about to do a very risky surgery. Have you got any uh, any other bionics that might be useful? No, you got bionic here. They're hilarious. We'll buy some gold, because that would be very, very helpful, because I am getting through advanced components like they are... Like they're not even there. They might as well not be, because some idiot 
keeps wasting them on bionic ears. Bionic leg is down. We got another complex. If we need a little more luciferium, which um we don't last time I checked. And Bazinga. There we go. That's everything I wanted for Big Brain Kai. Actually, you know what? Get that hold and let's get the surgery going on you right away before we run out of Glutswell Medicine again. So, you need, well, everything. You need absolutely everything. So, uh, Stone Skin Gland. No, but I might give that to Timon. Healing Enhancer. Also might give it to Timon. So, you need a uh, leg. You need two arms. Specifically made two arms. You need a new nose. And then you need a pair of lungs. Detoxifier lungs. There you go. Now, this is Banana operating on her wife. So, no pressure. You got a personal attachment. Maybe she won't botch it. Maybe she'll do a better job than Big Brain Kai did for everyone else in the colony. Where's all the Glitz War medicine gone? No shitting way. Have you used it already? Oh, it's outside. Why is it there? Why is it there? Why is it there? Okay, well, it helps if you swap over to. Okay, this, this is a test. This is a test. What are you installing? It's just a leg. Nothing major. Hey, and you actually did a great job. Okay, keep going. Yeah, keep going, though. And now with Glitz War medicine, now you've proven yourself. You watch this. You know what? Send it. Let her cook. Look at her go. Oh, banana! Oh, she botched one. What did she botch? Was it the lung? She botched one. It was it was one lung. You know what? I'll take it. The five out of six really isn't bad. Especially given that she hadn't done any operations before in her life. That's pretty damn impressive. You know what? Kai absolutely deserved this. She's been there. She's been a key part of this team. She was th she was at it before Tim, and if I remember correctly. But now her and her doctor friend. Turning up at that base, that one fateful day, all the way back in the city, we would be nowhere. We wouldn't have had someone who invented the cure, let alone reverse engineered and, and was able to craft her own cure. We wouldn't have someone capable of building all these bionics, and more importantly, someone capable of building all the components we need for the vehicles. She has been instrumental. So I'm happy to spend all these resources on her. I'm going to give her a second chance to make another lung. I'm going to let her make another lung, and we're going to give it another go, because she absolutely deserves it. Boom. Okay. Get that in storage, and let's try it again. So in the Glitter World Medicine, now that Banana has a bit of experience too, I, I think I think she'll be good. I think she'll be good. Send it. Absolutely send it. Okay. Oh, I'm happy with this. All of my people are as good as it's possibly going to get. Mariana could do with a few upgrades. We'll probably start working on, on the actual pain levels now. Going off of that, deciding who needs it based on... Based on... Well, who needs it the most, right? Who's in the most pain? It might be something for the bioscope, but you know what? We'll worry about that tomorrow. Hey, did we get any progress on the things I wanted to take off? Well, Chef Will did get an SMG. We did research the armor, but we didn't finish it. And we certainly are no better on ancient hydroponics. But to be fair, we got attacked quite a lot. But restoring everybody. Keeping everybody happy. That's the most important thing of all. There was no grand victory, big invention. We didn't move out to the city. And there wasn't anything big I can put in the thumbnail. But you know what? My people are happy and healthy. And that's all I could ever ask for. That's all I could ever ask for, and I'm proud of that, damn it. Thank you to Solothal, Benji, Lucian Void, Natake, Blex, Noah, Lawbringer, Swallow, My Mayo, Lucrative, Suka Kuka Punga, Emily, Snowdog, TW, Asana Kirito, Commander Crint, Lord Snarky, Vanathan, VC Brain, Ravenlock, Speedy, Flexballs, Road Raider, Azamemnon, Zeon. Mega Oscar Pone, Space Urban Cohort, Nashi Q, Nephin, Weir Baby, Wazzy, Jurgen, Grieb, and Lupus for their support of the executive producer tiers today. This was the calm before the storm, I think. The quiet before we finally move to the city. Maybe we start packing things up tomorrow and get out when, when I'm happy that my people are happy and, and defended. We give everybody a set of locust armor. Because even like the, the researchers. It's just useful to get out of a sticky situation. You never know. We might be pending in, in, in some room in the city, like we were with the Thornbow, and it could be the difference between life and death. So it's, it's, it's definitely a worthwhile investment, even if it will slow us down a couple of days. Thank you as well to Elliptic, Rubber Rubby, Yammy Demon, Lord of Sofa, Raylingar, Laura Stars, Nightlock Velda, Paul Tala Mort, Thomas DeSantis, Liam Easton, Adrissa, Lunamaya, Mithrin, Ravioli Lad, and El Chalupa Cabra as well.